And I was like, yeah, drinking don't work for me. <laughs> drinking don't work at all. I feel a little kind of tense, like a hard workout, you know? You feel sore as hell. I feel kind of like that f from being drunk. I didn't have a hangover. I drank, there was like, I'm one of them 12, well, around here, 12.99 bottles of Absolute Vodka. It's about this tall, about this big around. I had half of it left. I drank the, I drank the second half of it except for this much Ronald drank. So, I mean, I drank a good, that's a lot of vodka. That's a lot of vodka, I'd say, for me, definitely. Because I'm a little lightweight bitch. But, <laughs> um, yeah. And then, after I ran out, I got mad that I ran out. Because I was like, you know, I'm going to start sobering up. <laughs> I don't want to do all that. Because, you know, once I'm nice and drunk, I'm stupid enough to keep drinking. Um, so I went and grabbed my dad's brandy, and I took a few swigs of it. Why not? And I don't know. I went to swimming crazy. I went to jumping in the water and then looking at the dam. I remember looking at like, you know, the edge of the pool, thinking about I needed to swim to it after jumping in and I was just I would just sit there in the water, barely, barely keeping myself up. I'd just be like, I need to go over there. <laughs> and I was so horrible, I could, I should have died. I should have. <laughs> I really should have died. <laughs> oh, it was a good time, though. It was a good time. And then we were at Jeannie's house that day, a woman that uh, I work for, which she was, she was more of a friend than she is, you know, someone job-wise. But uh, <laughs> she came outside I, while I was passed out, asked Ben and them. <coughs> they said she asked, <laughs> she walked out and asked, is he drunk? <laughs> They were like, yep. Oh, yeah. Ronald and my brother picked me up off the concrete. Had me on the shoulders. You know, that's at the point where I came back into consciousness or whatever. They walking me to my dad's truck, you know, getting ready to leave. And I remember everything from then on out, you know. Got in the truck. I was still fucked up. But like, I was still drunk as shit. <laughs> oh, my. My behavior, if anything, was worse. But, um, yeah, hanging, both arms halfway, you know, hanging out the door, riding down the road, asking people behind us why they're behind us, you know, hey, what are you doing behind, you know, just, it was horrible, but, oh yeah, and then I was smoking a cigarette riding, while we were riding down the road, when we went around this turn. And all the turns that had lanes to them, you know, being drunk. Them motherfuckers, I'm leaning with them. And the cigarette in my left hand and Ronald sitting in the middle. The only reason is just because I'm drunk. Normally, I'm sitting in the damn middle of that stupid ass truck when, when there's three people in it. But, uh, but either way, we go around this turn. I got the cigarette in my and we're laying, in the, I'm laying on Ronald, and the cigarette just sticks right to his leg. <laughs> that shit is so funny, he about danced out the fucking truck. Oh my lord. And then when we got home, my dad has like these wagon wheels or something. It's like, you know, you would put them on a wagon or on a wheelbarrow or something, and it, use them as wheels. So it's just... The wheels without, they're not on anything to be used. And I picked them up. And it was, yeah, I hadn't even started smoking yet. I got back home finally. And I hit the bong a couple times. Ronald, Ronald, uh, loaded me up some pot. And I hit the bong a couple times. And every time I hit it, I felt like, I'm not saying my drunk, I was getting less drunk. But I felt the high more than I was feeling drunk. So every time I hit it, I was it felt like a relief. Like my 
it felt like my drunkenness was going down every time. So I was just like, <laughs> coughing my guts up. But I picked that wagon wheel up or whatever. I chunked it over there towards where the tomatoes are. And by God, if I didn't just start bleeding, like, I come back. I noticed my finger felt tight, but I was like, I threw something. You know, it probably caught my finger, you know, just pulled on it kind of hard or whatever. <laughs> Happens to, to a million times a day. But, uh, <laughs> so I get back in the truck, you know, I'm sitting here doing whatever. This thing I know, my damn stomach is just fucking red. And I'm like, holy motherfuck, am I this fucking high and drunk shit? What the fuck? <laughs> and Ronald's sitting over here, he's just like, huh, what? He looks over and he's like, well, what'd you do? I was like, oh shit, this is real? And I'm like, I don't... Oh, damn. I'm just dripping blood. <laughs> and I didn't even wrap that shit up. I'm, I went to bed with this shit. Actually, yeah, I wrapped this shit up today. <laughs> today. Yep. Sure did. Went in that Waffle House this morning too, boy. I fucking forgot. That shit was so good. So fucking good. Chicken, egg, and cheese wrap, I was high as fuck. Just woke up this morning, didn't have a hangover. The worst of the feeling was, you know my damages and a little bit of a sore muscle feeling like I'd worked out or something but uh yeah then I went and got my hair cut after eating I was at, I, <laughs> chicken egg and cheese wrap usually gives me gas and I was expecting fully to shit all over Miss Alicia which is the woman who cuts my hair and I was I was I was cussing my brother out in Waffle House. I was like, Why'd you damn bring me out here, man? I'm gonna be shitting all over Miss Alicia, man. She's gonna be embarrassing as hell, man. <laughs> and he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he just laughed at me. Well Is this thing rusting? It might just be some dust. The damn windows were down or the doors was up in one my dad cut the grass outside in the yard damn dust comes rolling through and shit it was ridiculous I wasn't in here but it left its mark oh yeah I said I had something to show y'all earlier these guys I like I like them now I, I don't like them completely but I would never be able to find a pair that I 100% liked. It would be impossible. So, I would literally scroll looking for glasses or going to every store possible, which I typically, yeah, clothing-wise, I'd probably go shopping for glasses. <coughs> I didn't buy these, but that's a different story. Either way, I'd probably go to the store if I was looking for clothes. Either way, either way, either way, either way. So I decided, I was like, you know what? They're decent looking glasses. They're the closest thing to orange lenses I could get that were mirrored and polarized and quality. So, why not just put these motherfuckers on until I've seen them on my face so much that my face doesn't look right without them? Because I don't look right without this motherfucking smile or hat. I'll tell you that damn much. But, uh... Because, I mean, they're nice glasses. They don't look... My face... <laughs> they're definitely made for somebody with a different face shape. I mean... A different... Different face shape. Yeah, that's what's up. A different shape face than me. But, um... They work. They work. For me. Okay. I don't know in your eyes if they're working on me, but for me they work. <laughs> and I, yeah, I've kind of just blanked out. As I was saying, and I like the lens because they're almost, they have almost no curve to them. Most lenses, you know, are 
yeah, you know the typical lens shape. I like this a lot. I'll be sitting out here and they work great. I'll be sitting out here and hot boxing or whatever. Well, no. If I hot boxed out here and how it's been recently, I'd die. But, um, yeah. I'll be wearing them and I don't have no problems anymore, man. You know, I usually be sitting out here getting blind as hell. I don't feel that high, but I feel like I'm, my, my struggle for constant talking in this video is pretty strong. Like, my conversation's not as strong as it was in the last video, but we're used to this. Alright, if you watch my videos ever, we are used to this. The stumbling part pisses me off. I don't know why I can't stand it. When I stumble over words and I'm like, bleh, 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 can't figure out how to get something out. <sighs> I just get fucking mad. <laughs> but that's me too. I get mad. Cheers. I let this bong <coughs> <coughs> shit. <coughs> I let <coughs> God dang it. <coughs> I let this bong sit full of water and some clean, and you know salt, and whatnot, and shook it. I got a little bit out, not much, but I just I remembered how much of a struggle it was to get even close to all of it out. So I just got what all came out as easy, you know, came out without much or too much issue and then left the rest. So I guess I didn't even, I didn't bother cleaning the down stem, the bowl, or even, even this part because I was just so focused. I, I blanked out. I brought everything back out here and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Cause I forgot. But yeah, that's what Jacob does. Besides, sit in a truck and get high as shit. Why did I just avoid saying, <laughs> saying high as fuck? But because I, you know, try not to cuss or whatever. I avoided saying that and, and replaced it with shit. <laughs> um. I'm something else, you know? I'm something else. I think probably... Probably 20 out of the 24 hours of the day. And I'm sleeping more than... 4 of the hours of the day. So, even in my dreams. I'm probably sitting there... Just... Thinking about how not normal I am, like, is just pretty big subject in my mind, I guess, now that I think about it. I just be sitting there, I'm like, I think about 99% of the shit I do is just weird. <laughs> or just, just out there, or whatever. I like my I don't give give a shit attitude. See, I did it again. I replaced the F word with shit. You see what I'm saying? I'm just a failure. I'm just a failure. I'll go cut myself after this video is over. <laughs> Oh. 
one thing's for sure. If I ever do end up becoming popular on YouTube, <coughs> this video right here is going to come back up. Because that whole cutting myself joke right there is going to have so many people. It's going to have one person come and watch this old ass video of mine. And be like, oh my god, and go share it to one of my social medias. And then one fan sees it, and another, and another, and another, and another. And it just turns into this big boom of, oh, Jacob's making fun of kids who cut their sales. He's an asshole. Trust me, I know. You watch Leafy, you know this shit. <laughs> but, that's just what it is. Cheers. Oh shit. What would I do that for? Man. I ain't got no problem going to sleep. Tell you that much. I just want to let you guys know. Before I end this. That I love you guys. And that anybody who manages to see this. Before. I get banned. Because of how much of an asshole I am. And how much of a. How much of how much lack of a filter I have. And probably because of the law, but <laughs> um but um <coughs> if y'all see it it's before all that shit happens if it happens <coughs> then I just want you guys to know. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all getting me to 250 subscribers before that shit happened. Got me a quarter of the way to a thousand. That shit's just kind of cool to me. It's really cool to me. But I'm just trying not to overdo that shit. I'm already high. I'm already fuck, fucking forgetting how to talk. It's just... It's just hell. <laughs> English doesn't work. <coughs> Long sure as hell don't work. <coughs> <coughs> but my YouTube fans, I guess you'd say. Because I like I like to say I guess you say after I say fans. Because uh you know all the YouTubers like I don't like to call them fans. Well, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty much exactly what the fuck it is. I don't, I don't consider none of my fucking best friends or friends over there that I watch. I don't consider them friends and go watch videos that they make. Like, not even on fucking Facebook. Like, my friend go make some fa video on Facebook. I don't watch that shit. I don't care. <laughs> but... <laughs> But, um, yeah. If you specifically know somebody because you like watching them, then it's just, that's what the fuck it is. It's not even an insult in the first place, so I don't know. I don't understand it. But either way, if that's what you call it. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. You should like this video, comment on this video, share this video, this will put a your favorite, most of all, you should uh, subscribe. Because I love you and you love me. And we have hit 250 subscribers on the Jacob F462606 STTB Smile Through the Bullshit channel. Yeah. That STTB. <coughs> <coughs> the STTB part. Eh. Eh. I'd get rid of it, but I just. I just don't care. This little, I, I put it on there because I, I think I needed to for some reason or even if I didn't. The reason I chose STDB specifically 
was definitely because I was just depressed about some shit. And even though I guess it is a good thing, you know, you smile for the bullshit. Well, the bullshit that I was smiling through at that time, fuck that bullshit. That ain't even worth smiling about. That's worth throwing in the trash. So I kind of want to change it. But I'm probably just too lazy to do it in the first place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.